I always think what I'm explaining here is something obvious. Probably it's not for non-geologists, so I'm just going through it. This is an image by the uh, Icelandic Meteorological Office. As you can see, this is showing the Grindavik with the Sorsengi and the Rift Valley. I call it Grindavik Rift Valley for the ease of use. The term was not used before me. Uh, what we are seeing here is two fault lines are marked by these yellow lines. These are the edges of the Rift Valley. And the range, which is those hills you see, Thorbjorn, and also to the east. And the basin is where the uh, lowland is located. In these basins, we will have an option when the extension by the uh, extension of the Eurasian and the uh, North American plates happen, the eruption happens through the face of this uh, range fault line and uh, the next range. So practically, we are having in the basin the eruption. The tremors we are seeing have been uh, quite uh, calm for a period of a few days to one week. Now we are seeing they're picking up again, and we are seeing that the uh, extent and the numbers of the earthquakes have increased. Uh, they are at a depth of the seven to three kilometers. Sometimes one of them are, uh, or a few of them are shallower. We had around 200 earthquakes in the last uh, 48 hours. The, surprisingly, some of them are concentrated beyond the Green Dubik, to the west, to the southwest, I should say. They almost border the ocean land boundary, where the range is uh, actually sinking to the basin, which is now in, under the water. So these are the location, potential locations in the basin and to the number five, which is near the ocean. Uh, we are seeing that the tremors are now gradually picking up as you can see here, they are moving mostly toward the, from the west toward the east. The land uplift has reached really a higher level. That any moment means the land uplift, like a bladder, will get filled up through the pores. This is not a chamber, remember? It's a reservoir. It's different terms there. When the pores get filled up, they can flow laterally toward the basin and then erupt. And uh, we can see the sequence of eruption in a previous video. It is interesting how I observed and how I described it in a previous eruption. Just see this. We have an eruption. We have an eruption. This is the third eruption in the Reckoners Peninsula since the earthquakes of the November 2023. This is the uh, situation. Now we have a swarm of the earthquake started in the early hours of the morning by 6 o'clock. And then by 2 minutes past 6, we had the eruption, all the charts, tremors, and the depth of the earthquake showed that we have an eruption. And this is the images from the just north of the uh, Hagofell, between Hagofell and the Thorbjorn. This is the moment you see the eruption. If it was not because of the Iceland, we would never see this. We, it should have been at the depth of the three kilometers out is on the water in the ocean. We see it here on the surface. Amazing sight. Eruption is started with a bang in the darkness, and then it is spreading at the moment. The fissure is spreading. The hill you see toward the right is the one you can see in the Thorbjorn camera. This is from the uh, MBL Iceland and the RUV Iceland also. And... Uh, Eruption has started. We have the third one. It's one of the most beautiful sites on the planet Earth.